Be sure to check out my Amazon affiliate store where you'll find a lot of the tools that I use in my shop. You'll also find a brief description of the tool and what I think of it. You'll find a link to my Amazon store in the description of the video. I had some very inexpensive Buck Brothers bench chisels laying around and I turned them into fishtail chisels. Check it out. In order to create the fishtail on this chisel, I want to keep the flat top portion of the chisel and I want to remove or grind away the two sides that are beveled on this chisel. So I want to remove all of this metal over here and I want to remove all of the metal over here. And while I'm grinding off all this metal, I'm going to be sure to try to keep the chisel as cool as possible by occasionally dipping it into a cup of water. With half of the material ground away on one side, I have half of a fishtail formed. Now I just need to do the same thing to the other side of the chisel, and I'll have a completely formed fishtail, and at the very end, I might clean it up with a mill file. So now that I ground away the material on both sides of the chisel, you can see that I formed a nice fishtail at the tip of the chisel. And if you wanted to, you could make this part of the chisel even thinner by grinding away more of this metal and bringing the fishtail further in. But uh, I think for me, this is gonna be adequate. And uh, one thing I do wanna point out is that you don't need to grind away the metal all the way up the length of the chisel. It's just not necessary. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take this over to my water stone and polish the back and then sharpen it up and give it a nice bevel. I'm going to start this sharpening process with a 1000 grit water stone and then I'm going to move to 4000. The only thing that I use fishtail chisels for are when I go to make the sockets for half-blind dovetails. Because of the way the socket for half-blind dovetail is angled, it's really difficult to get into the back corner with a regular straight chisel. Um, it's just very difficult to do. Now with a fishtail chisel, it's incredibly easy to do because of the way the tip of the chisel is angled. When I made my first half inch fishtail chisel, I made it back in 2012 and I wrote in an accompanying blog article to go along with the build. There was no video. So if you'd like to read that original blog article, I'll have a link to it in the video description below. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope if you're not already a subscriber, you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And also please consider supporting Garage Woodworks through Patreon. It's support from Patreon supporters that helps to keep this operation going. And you'll find a link to my Patreon page in the video description below and also in the first comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.